What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and I'm excited for this video because if you've been watching the channel for a while now, you might know that I've been complaining for years about my Wi-Fi situation at home. I could just never get a nice stable connection. I've, I've been through it with this Wi-Fi. We've got gigabit internet and for some reason it's still just so, so bad. The endless saga that is our Wi-Fi situation over here. A major pain point in my life, my internet service. So today, we're gonna be talking about how I finally fixed my Wi-Fi situation. But before we get started, we have to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Anchor Work. Now, we all know Anchor makes some of the best mobile accessories in the game, and their sub brand Anchor Work is all about setting you up to work like a pro. So they sent out their new M650 wireless microphone, and no surprise, this thing's pretty cool. If you're looking to create content, whether it's solo or maybe with someone else on screen, this sets you up with everything you need. It works both great indoors and outdoors, and it's equipped with Anchor's Anchor Work Voice Shield Noise Reduction, so it can identify your voice even outdoors, so it's the only thing that comes through in your audio. So check it out, this audio, right from the M650, but if I were to go back to my phone, this is what it sounds like directly from my iPhone. I'm sure you can tell there's a bit of a difference. And to be honest, this is one of the most versatile mics you can get if you wanna shoot with your smartphone, whether that's an iPhone or Android, or even if you wanna use it with a dedicated camera. Not to mention it clips on easily and even offers different face plates if you wanna change up the look. If you wanna learn more, I'll of course have links down below in the description, but I'm telling you guys, if you're a creator, these are definitely worth checking out. So first, let me give you guys a little backstory. So what we were dealing with here was really spotty connections. Certain areas of the house just got absolutely terrible Wi-Fi service. And it's been plaguing me since we got this place. And me being the techie that I am, I'm like, okay, I know mesh Wi-Fi networks are the way to go if I'm looking for good coverage because you can have like your main router and a bunch of different nodes placed throughout the house to boost your Wi-Fi signal. So I'm like, all right, I get that. And I've tried a ton of different mesh Wi-Fi networks, Asus, Orbi, Netgear, Google even. Uh, who else did we use, Jay? Eero. Eero. There's the one with, with the little screen. Yeah, am I Amplify or? Yeah, something like that. Whatever. Either way, guys, there have been a ton of different routers and mesh networks that have come through this place and they've all failed us. These guys can all attest when they're trying to connect their phones to the Wi-Fi here, it's been rough. Basement is the worst. Basement. Not good. But you get offline like <laughs> almost instantly. Yeah. And we've got all the computers down there. So uh -huh. it, it was mind boggling. I remember having to buy these extremely long Ethernet cables <laughs> from that routed from here all the way down to the basement, from here uh -huh. all the way to my bedroom so I could play Apex Legends. It, it's been rough. Uh, I also tried calling my internet service provider to try and get them to swap out the modem and router combination over and over and over again. And they always come with a new model and it always leads to the same thing. Disconnects, bad coverage. It was just all bad. And then it hit me. So the first issue that I really found was those modem router combinations. Those boxes that you get from your service provider those gotta go. If you're dealing with a situation similar to mine where you just can't get good coverage, maybe you're using your mesh Wi-Fi network and you're st still not working the way you want it to, internet speeds are suffering because you've got basically your router connected to their router, it's an issue. So I got rid of theirs and I bought my own. So I ended up buying this guy right here and this guy right here is the Netgear Nighthawk CM1200. So my goal was to eliminate the router portion that they had made sure it's just one network because two different Wi-Fi signals can cause interference. Forget whatever your internet service provider gives you. Get your own modem. This one supports up to two gigabits. We have a single gigabit here. So I knew this was gonna cover everything we needed to. And once I did that, I saw much better signal quality. So we wouldn't get as many dropped signals. So you can just connect their um, cable to your own yeah. modem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this coax cable right here, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That cable. that's theirs. And you just plug it right into here. And there's a ton of different options out there. You can spend like a hundred bucks and get something really good quality. So I was using this 
with this mesh Wi-Fi network, uh, this is the Asus AX6600 tri-band Wi-Fi router, guys. When I tell you I went hard trying to make this thing work, I had like six of these throughout my entire house. Still had pretty crummy Wi-Fi. Once I got this thing installed, even though this wasn't performing the way I wanted it to, it at least didn't drop the signal as much as it used to. And then Google came out with the new Nest Wi-Fi Pro. And that's what we've got over here. Now, I don't think this is something a lot of people are talking about. And you might've heard me mention before that I tried Google routers in the past. Their mesh Wi-Fi network is kind of what got me onto mesh Wi-Fi networks. And they came out with this new one and I'm like, all right, supports Wi-Fi 6E, uh, should have pretty good speeds, it's new. Let me give it a shot. And we've been smooth sailing ever since, you guys. So this thing has been absolutely amazing. The combination of that Nighthawk and the Nest Wi-Fi Pro really literally changed our lives over here because we were dealing with such a headache of an issue for so long. And we don't get good mobile service over here. Oh, so no. you know we were dying. We don't have mobile service. <laughs> yeah, there is none. Look at that one bar and once we got this thing installed you guys i think i've gotten the most consistently high speeds across my entire home than i've ever had with the six asus routers that we used to have before using only three of the nodes so we have our main router one in the basement one upstairs and we got full coverage now let me bust out a speed test really quick so you guys can see what i'm talking about so this is obviously right next to it we're chilling. Yeah, we're chilling around, look, we're hitting that six even. Now the upload speed is pretty pretty whack because that's just how it is. And you guys can even see when we're in the basement or upstairs, you can still see that we get some pretty decent speeds, at least enough to do whatever we'd like. Now one thing I will say about this router is that you don't get access to a lot of ethernet ports. So this router only has a single one. Uh, this one connects you to the internet. And this one is for another device. So that, is that a, thing, a modem or a modem Wi-Fi combination? No, I made sure not to get a modem Wi-Fi combination. Oh, okay. it's just a modem. Straight up modem. So I can have their data go through there and I connect my router to that. So there's right. only one network. So I think that's, that may be a mistake a lot of people make where they've got like this modem router combination and then they get their own router on top of that. And you've got two signals in your house. That's me. You, right, it, it used to be me too. And then they're clashing with each other. Now, something I'm not super crazy about is that like Google dropped their most recent Nest uh, Wi-Fi and that one had the assistant built right into it. I thought that was amazing. And oddly it's missing from here. The other one, the point doesn't have the internet for it. So. But yeah, that's a fair point. So you don't want to make that trade off. It would have been nice, but I'll take good service over that. Now, something to note is that this does have Wi-Fi 6E. So if you have Nest Wi-Fi routers that you already own, they're not gonna work with this. Google second generation also worked with the older ones, but this new third generation model, just that. And when it comes to the settings, there's not much you can do here. You can see we're connected to two other Wi-Fi points. We can check your uh, speed here. And as you can see, that's looking good. I mean, there's a couple of other things you can do. You can change the status like brightness and you can organize it depending on where you have it in your smart home, that kind of stuff. There's not really much you can do here, but I am so okay with that. Now, one thing I also do recommend, like let's say, you know, you're somebody who's in a similar situation. Uh, every now and then, just go ahead and uh, restart your network. It's like restarting your computer. You just want to clear it out, make it fresh. Do that every now and then if you're noticing like any slowdowns, anything like that. Just give that a try. Works for me all the time. So you don't have any signal drops? <laughs> Jay, where you want to go? <laughs> we'll go anywhere in this house right now. I want to go to the theater room because that's where I used that's to like pretty, chilling. That's pretty bad. Got no Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, look at all Austin's gifts. That's crazy. All right, so now we're in the theater and let's do a speed test. Still full bar? Oh yeah, we got full signal, baby. Oh yeah? Now this used to be a complete dead zone, complete. 
Over 100? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Right? Guys, you literally would not even be able to connect to no. the Wi-Fi over here. Like, you just couldn't do it. And now we're getting 187 down. Like, that's ridiculous. And that's considering the fact that right here, I had one of the Wi-Fi nodes for the Asus just chilling. And you could be right next to it and you get no signal. Listen, they're gonna be like, Judd, you were doing something wrong. I don't care. I'm over it. I'm so over it. I got my solution. I'm not saying that's gonna be the solution to everyone. Everyone's Wi-Fi issues might be a little different, but hopefully this gave at least a little insight into things that you might wanna look into when it comes to fixing your Wi-Fi connection issues. But yeah, you guys, don't connect the router to another router. Anywho, guys, that about wraps it up for this video. Hopefully it gave you guys a little bit of insight if you're dealing with some Wi-Fi stuff. And let me know if this fixes anything for some of you guys. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. My Wi-Fi is finally fixed. I got my solution and I'm very happy. Peace.